Hello and welcome. This movie is about optical transceivers with other protocols. Uh, and in this movie I will address the following topics. Uh, Ethernet, STM, OC3, fiber channel, C3, OPSI, and which transceiver hardware can handle which protocols. First of all, what is a protocol or how can we describe that the most easy? And that is, it's like a language that two devices are talking to each other. In the case of Ethernet, this Juniper switch and this Cisco card is decided to talk 10 gig ethernet with each other and they both understand let's say that language the same goes for fiber channel um, this is a sample of a, a brokerage switch talking to a, a sun server with four times fiber channel so that's let's say another language which languages or which protocols do you have well the most popular one is ethernet uh, they uh, have different speeds uh, it all started with 100 mbit then it was uh, 1 gig which is basically now the standard uh, in data centers you will see a lot of 10 gig which runs with sfp and xfp uh, the next standard that they're working on right now is the 25 gig which is working with the or which is using the sfp 28 40 gig which is a popular one right now is qsfp uh, and then you have the 100 gig platform which is coming along right now as well which is working on the qsfp 28 the cfp cfp2 cfp4 and the cpac another protocol is the stm or oc that's an older protocol oc stands for optical carrier and stm is a synchronous transport module they are aliases in a way. Uh, OC3 and STM1 are basically the same. They run on 155 Mbit. OC12 and OC, uh, STM4 are the same as well. It's 100, uh, 622 Mbit. OC48 and STM16 is the same, two and a half. And then you have OC192 and OC uh, STM64, which is around 10 gig. You have even higher, uh, but they are not used that much. They have a different way of describing the distances for it. For example, you can buy an OC, uh, SFP OC48 ER optic with a Cisco and then it's a 50 kilometer one. Uh, but Alcatel, for example, using uh, the STM abbreviation a lot and then you're talking about, uh, let's say, S-16.1, which is a 50 kilometer one. A good example of this is uh, for uh, the original XFP for Cisco, which is a 10 gig Ethan uh, ER and an OC192 ER. So you can see the ER1, which is listed uh, here, is 40 kilometer, which is equivalent to the 10 gigabit Ethernet ER. The next one I would like to address is the fiber channel, which is used for uh, storage networking, some networking. 80% of this market is uh, run by Brocade and also the HP or IBM switches, which do fiber channel are Brocade, but then with an IBM logo on the front of it. The Brocade optics are the XBR-000 and the Cisco optics are the DSSFP FC for fiber channel and then the speed of the fiber channel and then short wave in this case. The speeds are one times and two times which you don't see now anymore. Four times it's getting out uh, as well. Uh, eight times is now the most popular. Uh, Ten times is not used that much. Sixteen times fiber channel is coming and thirty-two times is uh, in the progress. A longer distance which is important. You need more buffer credits if you're working with brocade. Otherwise, you won't get the optic to work. Then the last protocol I would like to address is the CPRI or OPSI. Uh, this is more for radio towers, uh, mobile front hall, uh, 4G networks. Uh, CPRI is really for radio interfaces, common public radio interface, and OPSI is open base station architecture initiative. Um, Ericsson, Huawei, Arcatel, and Nokia are really working on these standards, which is really for the 4G networks. Uh, CPRI rates are uh, 6 gig and then they scale down and 2.5 gigs and then they scale down. OPSI is 6 gig and then they scale down to other speeds as well. Well, what does it all mean for uh, hardware, the transceiver hardware? Well, I made a little list of all the speeds here and the different protocols here. 
what we are offering are uh, basically three different types of uh, optics. Uh, one is the 1.25 gig, uh, which can run these protocols. So the fast Ethernet, the gigabit Ethernet, uh, the OC3, OC12, and the one times fiber channel. We also have a 100 Mbit uh, optic, but because that is facing out right now, I didn't list that. Same for the 2.5 gig. Um, Two and a half gig can do uh, gigabit Ethernet, fast Ethernet, can do OC48, two times fiber channel, and simply 3G. Then uh, there is a four times fiber channel optic as well, but it's not used that much, uh, so I'm stepping to the 10 gig. The 10 gig Ethernet can run all these protocols, so it can do gigabit Ethernet, even fast Ethernet, 8 times fiber channel, 4 times fiber channel, simply 6 gig, simply 3 gig. There are uh, different hardware for 6 times simply, but uh, in big quantity that's really interesting. But uh, typically we are using the 10 gig Ethernet uh, hardware and scale that down to 6 gig. All our hardware is uh, multi uh, speed, so for, if you have 10 gig, it can scale down to lower speeds. Okay, thank you very much.